besser. Was that? Oh, lucky was that. I didn't hear it. We got no, 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 no. It's good. I saw him split off that way. No. That became this way. Oh my God, dude! I lost. If we I, if I we got that, that was a master class in tracking. You ready? Good problem. It's a good problem. Fuck, man! I, you know, looking into the sun, it just looked like it was part of it. That is a serious termite mound. He's saying hundreds of years old. Thousands. Thousands? You said thousands of years old? Oh yeah. Really? like he was gonna move. He took a couple steps and you could see the body language. So, put one in the back of his shoulder. Yeah. It's a big animal and you want him to stiffen up because these things can run forever. Oh, yeah. so, this is a very old um, Elan bull. And, uh, and you can see the body is big and solid. The horns are worn down. Oh, oh my god. I've probably never had that kind of emotional roller coaster <laughs> on, a, on a hunt. <laughs> oh. Oh, you, you guys? Yes. Hey, you guys are the fucking man. <laughs> you guys are the man. <laughs> Truly impressive tracking losing, skills. Like the best I've seen in a long, long yeah. time of doing this. Losing the tracks sometimes by your time where they, they tend to calm down and relax more. Yeah. It's stiffen up, but it worked out. But we walked a long way. Don't, we walked a long way. <laughs> don't think we didn't yeah. walk a long okay, way. Okay, so Donnie, you got to pack out a hind quarter of this bad boy, okay? <laughs> See all the mud here and the abed, hair? Abed, abed. So they urinate and then they rub their head in the sand where all this mud comes from and then they rub it on the trees and like you can see this is well worn down and that's why that way it keeps his female and know where the females are you know, so don't, they don't go far actually it's smelly bugger but yeah you Right, much like our border, 
doesn't seem to be a lot stopping people from going back and forth. So we're actually on the Kenya side right this now. This is Kenya. Tanzania. <laughs> Kenya. Tanzania. Kenya. Tanzania. Kenya. Yeah, we became firearm smugglers in one day. If you look at Africa as a continent and what it was, and you look at the population and spaces where animals can roam free, there's actually nothing left. And if it's not for hunting, it will definitely be gone. I'm willing to say that there are more pets in this world than wildlife left. Livestock is the biggest problem facing hunting, conservation. 100% conservation, if you look at the Kruger National Park was a certain size and then more and more people gave up their property to be part of the Kruger Park and now it got like a third bigger because people were, were willing to be uh, part of the Kruger Park and, and make it bigger and if they can do it in places like this it will be a huge success because wildlife do bounce back very quickly but if there's cattle it's not going to bounce back they, if there's cattle there will be no cats 100% because they will eat the, the, the livestock. Any competition for their livestock, they're gone. And that's what people don't understand is you and I, we kill one animal of a species, they kill the family of a species. And the sad part is the goats and the sheep, the cattle, it's got no value to the country, to nobody actually, apart from that one particular man. I mean, 10 years ago, there used to be like five or six times as many Grants Gazelle and Wildebeest. Where, where are they now? We get to shoot 10, 15 a year of a species. You cannot uh, overshoot like that. It's impossible. But the animals are getting less and less and less. Habitat and livestock. Unfortunately, with uh, Lesser Kudu, it does have a big uh, terrain where they live in from here all the way to Ethiopia. But everything in between here and Ethiopia is closed for hunting. So, this is one of the last places where you can really hunt this particular Lesser Kudu. And it's a, it's a Maasai species. So, it's, it's normally dry, tough areas. Um, so, they are very unique to this kind of terrain and, and habitat to survive here. And unfortunately, like I say, why, why it's a, such a big thing is just because it's really in, in all of Africa is a tiny spot where you can hunt them. If you're willing to, to uh, put in the time and, and pay the money for it, it's, it's doable, but it's on everybody's bucket list. Yeah. So, you know, if you get an opportunity to, to do it, you have to do it as soon as you can. Yeah. Because the quota is getting less, the habitat for all of these animals are getting less. And like you seen yesterday, we were driving hundreds of miles, in, o, o, which was 20 years ago a prime area with there's nothing left there because of people. A bit more right, a little bit more right. In the shade. In the shade. Oh, you see his head. Does his neck sticking out? Hit him. Yeah, shoot him. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> I, I saw him fall and then he ran, but he fell. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> There were two. There was two. Oh yeah, my god. That was an incredible shot. I'll tell you what, that was a very, very. Did you see the impact? I saw the impact. Good. I saw it. Good. Shaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've had some insane, insane stalks. Uh, next level tracking. Last night I had it and it was the same thing, just in the shadows. This one though, I wasn't making that mistake. I saw the thing that looked like the kudu and I was like, I am not 100% sure after yesterday. I was like, Albi, you're like, wait a minute, right here. And I was like, oh, it's, it's standing right there. <laughs> I thought yesterday was a fantastic shot too, so let's not, <laughs> just no. relax, Albi. I saw, I saw him, guys. <laughs> relax. I just don't want to chase him all over, but he's, he's hit good.
<laughs> Come on. Oh, my man. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let me get the fuck in over here. <laughs> well, I guess this is what we came to Africa for. They made us work for it, every bit of it. But that experience was incredible. I mean, just the tracking. I mean, hours on a track. It's like, you, you know, someone like me who does a lot of this, it's just so different in America, LB. We say, there's no way. There's no way. You go another half a mile and then you bump it. And I'm like, oh my God, these guys are just next level. It's incredible. 